down into making choices that are massively important this time around. Choices either to move into the eye of the divine or remain into the eye of deception. So, and that entails a lot, of course, because we have to make choices regarding our lifestyle, regarding our connections, regarding our progress, regarding our evolution. And then again, make choices regarding family members, connections, business connections, relationships, name it. There is a lot to make choices for, but there is only one pure divine part that is actually tracing divine will at all times and eliminating free will. Free will are the breaking cords, breaks harmony, breaks balance, breaks your consciousness into the chemistry of falseness, the chemistry actually uh, of synthetics, synthetics food, synthetic breeding, synthetic uh, mentality, synthetic emotions. That is what is coming down into the eye of deception, what you know as the matrix, the soul, captivity, ego, any syndrome on that plateau of any and all diseases we experience. So moving into uh, from the eye of deception into the eye of the divine and removing all that debris, all that mud in the body, especially in the brain, in the glands, requires quite some overhaul, but this time around it's made so easy. And so there is truly an express train that moves faster than any telugu, that moves faster than any aircraft in the air, because we are flying machines, we are sparks of light, moving into the origin of sound and light and which is our authenticity. So moving the carbon into a light vehicle with all its applications like you have on the iPhone, although I think it's pretty retarded and iPhone computers these days, damn, that moves slow. A light vehicle moves at the speed of light and actually, let's say, uh, the past 20 years where the settings of application, like you put the applications in your iPhone, these applications, light uh, harmonize, harmonizing uh, application are being put on the planet to crystalline grids overriding the matrix. So uh, integrating the grids in the body, integrating the meridians like we find around the earth as the earth is moving into its ascension, and not allowing those dense frequencies that broke us. And thus we need to uh, get that technology in, moving into the divine path, into the higher senses. The higher senses require higher sensuality. They require the opening of the first pairs of eyes, the second, third, fourth, fifth, seventh, eighth, ninth pair of eyes. But let's start, you know, with the first three pairs of eyes. That is very important as many amongst us are very interested into the capstone of creation, the pyramid, what it entails, how it was being built. And all these things are coming to the surface. And it's pretty easy these days to see really through the eye of the tiger, the omnipresent eye, the eye of the divine is a personal alignment to your choices and here what are the choices you are going to make are you going to purify or do you think that the divine is going to lift you anyways into the new plateau that is debris free disease free and opening up into the crystallization of your embodiment and so the languages of light come to you channel your own and information like i'm doing this time around and so these elixirs when they are being brought through the universes then you have a crystalline grid in the house you move that into the grapevine of the divine remember that song i heard it through the grapevine i think it's a very popular song right i heard it through the grapevine that truly means that you start in crystallizing your ears in a way you hear crystal crystal clear so 
if your choice is moving into divine will permanently and removing soul consciousness, ego consciousness that is tied to free will that breaks you anyway because the divine knows what is best for you. You don't know anything. You don't even remember it. But when moving into divine will, you start remembering, you start refining, you start crystallizing your embodiment, your hair, your skin, your flow. And so that is the difference between soul consciousness or free will and divine will consciousness moving into the elixirs of instant manifestations with the divine realms, the light realms that are grounding anyways. So many people this time around will go nauseous if not doing the work within because uh, it's actually the macrocosmos that is installing itself without fail into the microcosmos, which is the inner world. So the inner and outer worlds are merging and so we need to get back into that knowledge that knowledge that are moving with all universes with the galaxies with the planets and life on many planets so uh this star has been broken for you know for eons actually and so we are removing that debris we all lift the attack on uh the uh, the breathing system, the attack on the lungs with the flu, the stories, the COVID, the, the blah blah of nonsense was a creation of the dense forces. And when not living in a crystalline grid with, with ultimate protection through the crystallization of crystals, then uh, any of those dense forces can come in at night at any time and create brain melt functioning so rewiring but also keeping your uh, yourself in a protective field takes conscious efforts it takes the will to move there if you don't have that will the divine will you never move into strength you never move out of that deception so it's imperative to make that choice and these days it can be done so easily but just a little bit of light body technology um, growing with the grids, removing the old, and that is when you feel your body starts to become an ocean, an, an ocean of life-giving forces reconnected back into your sources. And that is very individual as well, because your body is made out of very, very potent sources and forces merging together so when coming down on the astral plane what broke us uh, what was removed in the first place was your connection to the divine to the galaxies to light species to the light houses because when that is broken and your communication is completely off and your ears the attachment tubes are completely off of course, that was the way to break you and make you listen to anything less than divine sources and forces, the creator consciousness or the universe or whatever you term it. It doesn't even matter, but it's something so divine that tears roll over your cheeks day and night when you are connected. That is when you know you are reconnected to your source your universal spark self, your universal embodiment. And that is where we are truly heading. And so here in this video, I just want to make it clear. It is so imperative. You move into the crystallization of your ears and your eyes and the body grows with it. And that starts with an a universal embodiment that, you know, that starts to see from the inside out and so removing self from the old chakras that was the ultimate creation uh, to break everything down because why would people otherwise create healings for the chakra system to even break your mother that is easy so removing the chakra system and moving everything back into the heart there's hardly anyone that move into the technology of the heart vibration and uh, heart coherence doesn't even have anything to do with it. They're just, you know, fishing like uh, a, a scientist would do all of the time. 
and not performing high light sciences. Light sciences means you change consciousness every day by sheer alignment to the divine and crystallizing, knowing which crystals to apply and getting your upward movement, your growth process into the elixirs of rejuvenation of um, let's say regeneration and removing the old cellular debris or the old genes back into the origin of your genes which is light and sound and all its technology light languages come with it light configuration so you at least need to work with the first uh, 12 ways of creation and then come the 10 higher ways and then come the elixirs of the fluorescent ray then comes then only comes the crystal rays then you know it is never ending and so all the monsters all the elohim all the elements are continuously partnering up with us so uh, at this stage and this came through beginning of this year you can move if you want it directly in divine will in a light embodiment in which the huge deceit becomes so crystal clear because you start refining your eyes you start refining the eye within you start to move into a crystallization of your skill and the embodiment by sheer sheer you know let's say breathing through light waves and knowing which one to apply to move back into your eternal immortal embodiment that is the elegance of the divine the elegance of spirit coming through removing the old mud removing the debris removing uh, diseases removing especially laziness attachments and uh, what comes with it is of course a huge volume of resistances because it's actually resistances that kept you in captivity so that stream of mud of density was infused very high and so people this time around will make choices like well i don't give a damn uh you know let's move 5g many people are, are moving 5g with cell phones with uh you know antennas and things and so they these brains will crumble more and more and more up into a level where we will see loads and loads diseases in the ears in the eyes the brain will lose loads of uh, their intelligence the way uh, to think and so you move like a hybrid somewhere uh, in between planes of this deceit mud captivity and uh, without even realizing it then again there's people moving out of that feeling the flow of light continuously in their home through the grids and uh, moving into ease and grace manifestations on an everyday i mean i manifest every day <laughs> yesterday i played the lottery things manifested things come in uh like i didn't not even giving a thought about it that is what the elastic universal bodies do when you incorporate a light vehicle that looks like this and you start spinning and spinning your authenticity your divine uh, part um, in oneness with all the other teams that say this is you and all the other teams fuse in you know to access position and then you start to talk you start to see them you start to partner up with your eternal mate your perfect half partner and so this universe what they broke most is what we see here relationships of course let's break that down so people are always you know in the debris of uh, having a malfunctioning in connections uh, with children and everything that was a set of plan as well so uh, as many many people move into living uh, a life by themselves without any partner reason for it and so um, next month we move into uh, the unification process of the perfect male female partners reconnecting with them as the airplane is ascending into seven dimensions 7d is where everything becomes crystalline clear 
It's uh, really the etherical field, clearing that up with a huge spiritual body. And uh, the lavender amethyst from Brazil is very important here as well as that one from Peru. So these are alignments if you want them back into the male-female uh, vibrations. These antennas are being put back on the planet in many different continents and bringing the lady vehicle, the beauty of the lady, the elegance and uh, its uh, technology back in the purified male vibration, the gentle man that has its origin with the languages of light, the Yahweh antenna back into uh, with the lady of the lake rising from the mud into the pink lotus flower and reconnecting with the beauty of the aquamarine gentleman that is the origin of creation actually and so uh, that moves with it when you make your decision right here this time around this is what it comes down to you either choose divine will and open the eyes into multi-universes or you live the eye of the deceit the crumbling and so your brain will move backwards more and more by the day this is what we will see play out in society in schools in businesses and like um, let's see what happens <laughs> next month but that is what i see right now so uh i'm not here i mean to give you anything like a platform of um debris on like everything will be all right we're gonna resurrect and all that stuff that is not me here you hear truth you move into truth and you move into that logic and so there's alignments for everybody you can do individual alignments you can do online you can do meditation you can do seminars online there is a plateau but we need to make decisions if you think you can align to the divine and get your uh, universal embodiment right in then do that and uh, connect or install a crystalline grid with crystals in the home it needs to have the correct access it needs to have the correct crystals and the knowledge about how to do that so what I hear Spirit saying, there is a huge, a huge amount of laziness. So simply starting out by eliminating the laziness, which is the obvious with soul consciousness or ego. Uh, you were born with it. So I el eliminated that from myself like 30 years ago or 40 years. So <laughs> it's a long time I've been on the Ascension movement. And that was because the first 20 years were settling in the crystalline Lindgren. So everything all universes could ground back within this planet to bring everything back in the resurrection of purity creating light cities creating uh recreating actually or repairing the soil and the oceans and thus people need to move with it we cannot have one part debris and one part purity and that is the division line many will experience so and there is great technology also for those who say like yeah i'm in divine will i have a great heart i understand spirit i talk to spirit uh but yet not willing to move in that technology that is fine you will be lifted by us you will be lifted you will be taken into the divine planes and be put on the other side where we'll, we will meet <laughs> anyway so let me know how you move into your ascension what is um, your creative outlet how do you remove your debris because it's an ongoing thing do you love to work with ways let me know what is your preferred way what is your preferred crystal um do you think you can crystallize with something else and crystals it doesn't make sense to me but then again we all have a different connection to the divine and we can also breathe through crystals so it's not imperative that you have it but your breathing system needs to align 
to uh, the omnipresence, to the divine, to your source, and not the breath of air, uh, the air that you can breathe from the earth. Because the earth breath is exactly what kills you. If you move that into the breath of light, then you will immediately see light and you can heal from the inside out where you feel the flow of all the radio waves, scalar waves, whatever you turn it, but knowingly, knowingly, like here, I'm going to apply a pink ray and a green ray. I combine that. I need to know where it sits in the body, what I can do with it, what it consciousness is about and that is what you can eventually learn from your own channel either way or i have online courses moving you directly into your mastery with a bonus that uh, after the online you will get a free session with me moving you into the pillow of light out of the breaking syndrome of the chakra system and that as a bonus to see how the course went for you, what you will do with it, will you heal people, will you give your own courses, will you go and grow with uh, donating and healing out people, your own family, youth, children. There is a lot of need for more light, uh, eternal light healers, not um, the Reiki thing that doesn't move in all the way into the universe. So the next level is your eternal healing light. You will be initiated into that if you want that uh, course that is seventy percent off right now. There's a free webinar out right now, so jump into that and check it out if you're interested. Other than that, please let me know what is your astrological belt which sign did you birth with and what is the color you're most connected with because that becomes very very interesting on the planet as it will also move you forward out of the astral debris into the lighthouses out of the astral debris into the lighthouses so let me pull i love you know like uh, cards i pull myself and that is my sign is I got a grid for the, the actually the Celtic knot and um, I'm an artist as well so all these cards are art cards and they are 55 connected to the I am presence the I am empowerment self empowerment requires the removal of all the we and so every day you move into more and more and more strength including physical uh, strength in the muscular content including mental strength including psychological strength so there's a lot when moving into your universal light embodiment and configuration so uh yeah let's just have one card and see what it says <laughs> i like this artwork i'm bird wisdom the ley line fusion and that is exactly what choices are about you see those ley lines i don't know if you can see it there's some light on it right but you see an embodiment here that all has many birds in it you see so bird wisdom of course we know about the falcon eye and um the raven there's so many intelligent birds and uh, these ley lines that is actually representative of your spinal column and we see these ley lines that actually merge with the body and they bring in that wisdom that we need to move back into authenticity which is the technology of light and sound actually and so this is card number 48 making up 12 making up three the new tree of life of course so i have my i am uh, faculty book uh wise mentor cards for modern day ascension which is extremely helpful if you want that so uh let's see what the book says uh, about it it's um actually connected 
of course to the element air because it's exactly the air that broke your veins that broke your mentality your psychology your beauty that broke the lady gent perfect connection there's hardly any entity on the planet that has a perfect male or that lives in perfect male female connection yet so they think let's say there's very great relationships and that are very close working together and that's that all looks very beautiful until something in the next decade pops up that breaks through everything and that is because the purification needs a lot more alignment needs a lot more inside the insider coming you know into the collective and moving uh, the debris out so uh, I think going into self-investigation and deciding to move out of the laziness uh, which also breaks down any disease, any fear, anything uh, malfunctioning <laughs> in the brain that comes with your breath. So uh, that card, every card comes with three mantras into the I am. So I am allowing the flow of my business ley lines 24-7. This is great if you want a new job or I'm opening up my bird's eye view or I am, you know, whatever is best is a best match for your consciousness i uh would suggest so the air oh again the chakra system left side of the artwork represents the kingdom of the bird in the energy wheels or free flow expression of wisdom like i said so the right side of the painting represents how our energy field moves up the ladder of ascension in higher inner dimensional capacity and technology. Like I said before, if you move into that, removing the chakra system, really, you start to manifest every day with higher capacities, higher creations, felicitated or through the orange ray and unlimited potential. So it shows how the energy wheel needs to move into liquid ley lines and uh, that move horizontal, vertical, diagonal. Once you get into that, it is not difficult. Uh, once you allow my words to penetrate through and you start to think about how it happens, this is the year to truly move into divine chemistry the alchemy of the divine is grounding it is available and it is also a necessity that means we are moving into a liquid light embodiment and flowing you know into the original art content of our body we are all artists and creators i mean an artist is not particularly somebody who paints or designs an artist is in business, is in fashion, is in the, uh, you know, any industry actually. So uh, moving the old debris out of the cellular content, meaning you move back into the origin of your gene pool, which is light versus density or the deceit in your genes, then you change every day like I do right now. And that is coming through with the universal embodiments and moving, you know, from a light configuration and moving all the way into the capstone, releasing the eyes uh, from its mud and, and the ears. You start, you know, opening up your wings, actually, your wings, uh, which are a universal symbol for freedom. And uh, although the movement and do that perspective of flowing to the acceptance of cells allowing the polishing procedures to set self free from the burdens of the past and i move into the fast lanes of liberation because a bird always moves consciousness a bird is always in very high alert focus uh, there's a lot more but you get the idea right now and the idea of moving out of the debris that takes your decision let me know in the comments what is your decision do you find it difficult to move into the divine will because it just takes an hour alignment and keeping to it truly and then installing a grid so a short five-day online moving into the eye of the divine 
the breath in and the grids. I mean, you get there in no time because it's available and then you can move into the pillar, the beauty of your light in which everything comes to the forefront. You start to channel your own information, but you also will start to see light geometry, light languages, light design that pertains to you and then creation or your life becomes so, so beautifully interesting that, I mean, you live in passion 24-7. And that is the whole purpose uh, from making choices today because we are going to move very fast in uh, this month over into uh, all the way, you know, making the bridge into the end of this year. And so it is no more holding back. So let me know what is your favorite crystal, your favorite color, and, uh, you know, the astrological chart you put it on. Because it's so interesting. I, I love to get to know people in different countries, Canada, United States, Mexico, Australia, Africa. Let me know where you're from. Because uh, my intention is truly put my uh, vibrations, my uh, light print or my footprint into light and start traveling around and speaking uh, to people. So 